Hi, I'm Elizabeth with Oliver Smith Jeweler. I'm here today with our director of fine timepieces, Mr. George Reed, and we're going to talk about everything new from Cartier for 2022. All right, we are back from Geneva, back from Watches and Wonders, and there is a lot to digest from Cartier's releases this year. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think like a lot of other brands, they didn't really necessarily set out to reinvent the wheel, but it was just more the same. And what's great about Cartier is they have a century of design language to pull from. So um, their, their bag of tricks is pretty deep and they went deep for some of this stuff. They went deep. So we're gonna touch on sort of our favorites. Again, there were a lot of releases, yeah, yeah. Um, but let's start with the tank classic Cartier watch we all know and love yep. two different variations they've re-released the Chinois yeah crazy um I haven't seen one in years and I I kind of I knew it was coming out and I just kind of like walked over it um my goodness seeing that watch live um, it's fantastic. They did a really, the really nice job of it. The structure of it is so well done. It's inspired by Chinese temples. It originally came out years ago. Yeah, yeah. It really seems like a collector's piece for me if you're into tanks and Cartier history. And, and it's still kind of, you know, in the Privy collection. It's still something you're not going to see a ton of. Um, it's going to be a little hard to get a hold of. But they did this really simple one in platinum. Platinum dial. And um, I put it on. I just wanted to be a better person. Um, I wanted to do George, a things. little tear came out when George put that <laughs> it on. It was really, really good. Yeah, the size was perfect. No, just a phenomenal watch. It found its home. Yeah. Um, all black. Let's talk about this. This might have been my favorite, especially in that yellow gold combination. Yeah. I don't want to call the dial a phantom black, which we were just referring yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't go on forever, but it's really dark. It's really dark. And really cool. And I think it's just a lacquer. But they did yeah. such a good job with it. I, mean, I thought it was Onyx. Yeah, I, I really did. Yeah. I, I thought it was a stone dial. It was just absolutely beautiful. And that will be available. That's something you'll be able to see yes. um, very regularly. So, you know, if you want one, let us know. We can get you one. Yeah, um, yellow gold <laughs> and steel. On yellow it. gold and steel. Correct. The Pasha grid is back. The grid is back. Yeah. I recently learned about the grid, uh -huh. I have to admit, because I just did a Pasha review video. We'll link that below for you guys. And I remember thinking, this is so cool. Yeah. You never see it. And this would be like the ultimate collector's piece. Yep. And I'm old enough to remember uh, uh, the first time around, 1986, with the grid. Um, <laughs> I, I was I was living on the East Coast at the time, and uh, the Pasha was huge in '85, and then that grid came out. And people kind of lost their minds for it. You could do it crosswise, or you could do it as an X, like like you could kind of play with really it too. That was a really cool one, right? <laughs> it's, your, it's your first fidget spinner. Yeah, no, it, it, it was great. So it originally came out as a glass protector. Yeah. Um, there was one custom done in like the 1940s okay. that I, I know caused all this inspiration. They've re-released it. It's only in gold. Okay. And you, fun fact, you can, if you own a gold Pasha, you can buy the grid to put on to really? a piece. Really? Yeah. It, it, it'll retrofit back? I think if it's a, like more of a modern piece, oh, but yeah, right. let us know if you have one and you want cool. to add that yeah. on. Yeah. I think if you're into Cartier history and collecting, this is a watch you need to grab. It's an important watch. Yeah. Yeah. You need to, you need to take a look at it. And if I saw this out and about, I would do that. that is a really cool watch. <laughs> I'm going to stop you and buy you a drink. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We also got some new Panther releases yep. from Cartier. Yep. I love the Panther. I'll talk about it all day long. You did a whole video on yeah, it. Yeah, the yeah, bracelet yeah. is so subtle and comfortable. Um, a couple different Sunray dials, I think, to note. Personally, I loved the blue. I, I think we yeah, we, we shared that one in common. I mean, everything mm -hmm. else was, was, you know, it, it's that same color all the way around, which is great on the Panther because it does go into that bracelet thing. But the the blue on white with the with the diamonds in particular was, a, was just a really, really good version. Okay, so some of my favorite pieces that Cartier showed us were the new Santos collection. Mm -hmm. um, Santos. Santos, Santos. <laughs> um, they, they are touching on blue again. And instead of just doing a blue dial, they're doing a PVD blue bezel. Uh, kind of that, that 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 cover portion is now done in PVD, and it's uh, lined now. There's this um, great uh, uh, industrial look top to bottom. Uh, you almost have to really study it to even see it. It looks like it was there all along. You're like, wait a minute, has that always been there? And I just think it's absolutely fantastic. That and they have some more skeleton centers coming out. Which to do also one of George's favorites. Yeah, and and that's a little unobtainium for me. Um, but if 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 you know lottery hits or you know Oliver's feeling rather generous, um, the, the skeleton I sent doesn't be a way for me to go. Uh, they did a blue, um, kind of a gray black colorway, but they did this green enamel again. Green being the new blue this year, we're seeing a lot of it. A lot of green. The green was my hit. 
The green is my yeah. hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Panera did a good green. Um, this is just as good. Uh, this would be my elevated green watch for, for the season. Last for us to talk about today, but definitely not least, this one stole the Cartier show. It stole their show. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> mystery, mystery. Mystery. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, a, 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 amazing watch. Um, if you're familiar with Cartier and Cartier history, uh, uh, mystery clocks, mystery watches have been done for a long, long time. And the mystery for most of us is no mystery. Um, you actually take a lot of the going train and it's out in the bezel or on the clocks. It's in like the the, uh, the arms of the clock. So you had this sapphire disc with the hand on it. So uh, to the observer, it looks like the hands are floating and you can't figure out how it's telling time. So that's happening in this piece. What they did I've never seen before is they made the actual oscillating weight, the rotor that winds the watch, is the movement of the watch. Uh, to my knowledge, it's never been done before. No. They said it took them eight years to design this, and it feels like it took them eight years to design this. Yeah. This is a spectacular watch. I still can't figure out how the oscillating movement gets energy to the outer crystals. Um, the crown, just FYI, does not wind the watch. It only moves the hands. So it is the oscillating weight is the only way yeah, to get power yeah. into the watch. But my goodness, what a spectacular watch. Um, on wrist, in hand, uh, just being in the same room with it, uh, fantastic. A little on the pricey side. Right. Um, it, it, it's a starter home. It's about uh, 290,000 USD to start. Yeah. Uh, if you really want to ball it out, you can do a full platinum, full baguette version for about 1.4 million. Ooh. Yeah. It is quite uh, interesting to see in person and it really tricks the eye. Yeah. You know, if you saw that, you're like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> and it winds itself and it actually works. It's not broken. It's yeah. falling off. No, it, it was, yeah, these, these weren't like prototypes. This is actual running. They got it. They, they nailed it. And uh, man, I was just full of smiles the whole day because of that watch. Yeah, I can't wait till we see one. Yeah, so. absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks for following along make sure to subscribe for more cartier content and if you have any questions leave them below thanks for watching thanks folks